Hey guys, Rhonda Draculis here, RK3 Designs, and I wanted to make something fun, bright, and springy. So I went to Goodwill, got me a vase, paid $2 for it, and had an old stool sitting in my shop, and here we go. The colors that we're using are Alumalite White Dye, Carnation Pink, Almond, and Nicole Shimmer. All of these colors you can find on our website, rk3designs.com. So these projects are so fun, they're easy, they're inexpensive. I literally went to Goodwill and bought the vase, I had the stool, I wanted to make my mom something special for Easter, so that's why I chose the colors that I did. So today I decided to do a dirty pour and let all of my colors just organically come out of the bucket. I love this look and it's always fun and surprising to see what I end up with. So by putting my vase on top of my stool, I'm allowing the runoff from the vase to create another really cool project. Other things that you can put under your vase to catch your runoff are molds. You can make bowls. You can make coasters. I've even done them over Lazy Susans. So this technique is very similar to the technique I did a while back where I let my runoff go over a side table that I did. You can check out that video as well. The link will be in the description below. Okay, so once I poured all of the color out of the bucket, I allowed the colors to run down onto my stool. Once I saw that the drip slowed down from the vase, I removed the vase and then allowed the epoxy to self-level and create a really beautiful finish on top. Now you'll notice I also taped my edges to hold that extra resin until it thickened up. I gauged how long to keep the tape on the stool by the drips that were coming off of my vase. Once those drips stopped from the vase, I knew it was time to pull the tape and allow the epoxy on the stool to run over and create some beautiful edges. Once those stopped dripping, what I'll do every so often is run a popsicle stick around the bottom of the stool to alleviate any of the drips and that way I won't have to sand. All right, it's fully cured guys. It's all dry. I wiped my drips so there's nothing underneath the uh, edge that's gonna have uh, any pointy spots. Now it's time to take the plastic off. Voila, isn't it cute? All right, so it's done. Technically, if this were a countertop or a high traffic surface, I would come now and put a clear flood coat. But guys, this is just a little project. It's gonna be sitting in the corner really not gonna be used much, so I'm not worried about putting a clear flood coat. Same goes with the vase. I can put a clear flood coat. If I did, I probably would put a little bit of diamond dust just to give a little bit of sparkle. Again, this is not a high traffic item, so I'm fine leaving it how it is. All right, here it is. Is this not the cutest thing? I love it. So if you end up having a few little wavy drips at the top, you can grab some sandpaper, lightly hit it, you'll be fine. You're perfectly safe to put water, put your flowers, there is no resin inside of this. So um, you're, you're welcome just to go ahead and put the water in there. All right, one thing I love about this technique is the way that you can get it to match so well. This really looks good if you do a tabletop and then do your accent vase perfect match every time. So I wanted to give my mom something special for spring and we went to our local grocery store and bought these beautiful roses and lilies. My mama loves lilies and I think the color couldn't be any better. Well guys, I hope you like this cute fun little project. I hope it inspired you to go out and do something special for someone you love. Until next week, remember don't be scared, move forward, and be creative.